Well, I think one of the things that people sometimes don't realize is Rochester is actually known for this thing called the biopsychosocial approach. Oh, okay. Like it was kind of born um, at the University of Rochester. Can you say this, that again? Bi- bio oh, the bio, biopsychosocial approach. Biopsychosocial approach. Okay. Right. And so it's it's really you know it's really mind it's you know it's mindfulness it's thinking about a person in all all areas you know physically emotionally spiritually so I was trained in a program where um, you know we don't just think about um, a disease as just a pathology we think about like the whole picture so in other words like you know I have a patient coming in with diabetes and they're not taking their medications or let's actually talk about blood pressure because so many people can relate to that mm. so people have you know somebody has high blood pressure I can't tell you how many times these people would they would come in and I'd look at the chart and they're on like five medications for their blood pressure however like did we ask if you have the money to pay for those medications are you taking those medications so we just keep piling medications on without thinking about this person is working four jobs right or you know like so all the all the different factors um in their social atmosphere yeah. that are contributing to health wow. these these like you know determinants of, of health that we talk about so i think you know i'm i'm fortunate to have trained in a program where we we think about that stuff and and um you know that's just kind of been ingrained in me is that a is that a training that um everybody is obligated to go through or is it a about like a like a volunteer like i want to choose to do that training and i i guess i would say that it's just um it's i don't know how else to say it except that it's baked into our training okay so in other words like it's just the way that um you know if you walk the halls of strong memorial hospital Mm -hmm. and they'll talk about this guy george engel who wrote you know wrote and talked about this biopsychosocial approach so it's kind of one of those things where it's passed down but it's not this formal curriculum you know that you go through okay and you took it to heart like obviously you you that's that's why you had your practice yeah uh what what kind of like besides telling you guys about it do they teach you any other approaches inside that training if you could i don't know if you remember back then but yeah, it's hard. It's hard to say because um, there meditation. I, blo- I blocked a lot of that out. That was <laughs> such a busy time of my life, you know, working like twenty-seven hour shifts and wow. stuff. Um, okay. So you so, were sleeping at the hospital and everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, I still have. Um, I wouldn't say nightmares, but I still have. Like, there's there is a component of post-traumatic stress disorder um, for sure. I mean, not not as a disorder, but just uh, I'll sometimes wake up in the morning and think, oh my gosh. I'm not going to be home again for 30 hours, you know, I, like, it, and it's just, it's like kind of, you get this sinking feeling in your chest and I'm like, so then, then I come to and I'm like, oh, you finished that stage of your life. You don't have to do that anymore. 